In the public eye for more than 15 years, reality star turned entrepreneur Kim Kardashian is worth an estimated $1.8 billion. Having created several multi-million dollar businesses and becoming a mom of four on the way, the Skims owner has an impressive property portfolio to match. However, Kim's main residence remains the reimagined mega mansion in Hidden Hills, which she designed alongside her ex-husband Kanye West. And this home, well, it looked like a completely different place when they purchased it. You won't believe what this home used to look like. Back in 2014, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West purchased this sprawling estate in Hidden Hills for $20 million, which was situated on three acres of land offering beautiful vineyards, trees, and rolling lawns. However, after the former couple decided to completely reimagine and redesign the home, it could have been valued as pricey as $60 million. During these renovations, the former couple and their children stayed across the road at Chris's home for three years, eventually moving into their custom dream mansion in 2017. The massive house boasts two kitchens, two pantries, multiple minimalistic gathering rooms, and more. Kim has since maintained the monastery vibe of this Hidden Hills family home, considering she bought out her ex-husband after they separated. She has continued to put her touches on the property, and she posted a handful of interior shots in late 2022. For Halloween 2023, Kim even shared the creepy vibes she decorated at her mansion for the holidays, and she went all out. She even added another haunted house to the back of her house. Despite how minimalistic the mansion might look now, also noticing a lack of stuff or belongings, before Kim and Kanye got their hands on the place, it did in fact look like your average wealthy mansion with plenty of furnishings. Formerly, Kim's home was a stunning Tuscan-style compound with vineyards and an amazing detailed pool with fountains. Just for the basic stats, it said the mansion spans over 15,000 square feet of space with 8 bedrooms and 10 bathrooms throughout. It seems that one of the many things that Kim and Kanye saw eye to eye on during their relationship was the interior design of their home, including the step-by-step -step rehaul. Once complete, their masterpiece took the March 2020 cover of Architectural Digest, and fans were shocked at how empty and monochromatic it looked. While the former hallway featured some arches of its own, the new hallway looks like it was stripped down. Before, there were hardwood floors underfoot and elegant light fixtures overhead, while these days it's just straight up soaring ceilings and arches on arches. If you follow Kim on social media, you're definitely familiar with this kind of empty hallway and now those wood floors are long gone. They're made from a very special Belgian plaster now, so special that if something goes wrong, they can only be fixed by a crew that has to be flown in. Before the stair hall was classic, offering some marble flooring and a winding iron railed staircase with some furniture as well. Now it's all white colored and even more simple in style. And as you can see, for the fall season, Kim likes to deck this space out with piles of pumpkins instead of furniture. The railing went from an iron rail to a solid white banister that encloses the stairs. Before the renovations, the kitchen had high wood beam ceilings and other wood accents including the hardwood floors, as well as more of a rustic vibe. Now it features a huge range of chef-grade stainless appliances, and the open concept remains, but it's nearly all the same neutral shade aside from the appliances. There are even two deep pantries, and Kim also has a legitimate walk-in industrial fridge. It looks like there's an entire grocery store produce section in there, and about 40 types of shredded cheese. In case you're wondering, Kim has two kitchens. One is what she calls a for-show kitchen, and then there's the staff kitchen, where I assume they actually do the cooking. Before renovations, Kim's living and dining rooms were fancy, but they were still warm and inviting. There were more of those wood beam ceilings, a stone fireplace, French doors to the yard, and plush furnishings. Now there seems to be nothing but the built-in fireplace, which now completely blends in with the white walls. The dining room formerly had features like a crystal chandelier and even a wine cellar, but now it's a lot more empty. The living room does have a special polar bear sofa though, which could have cost up to $600,000 alone. As for where Kim lays her head at night, the master suite formerly had rich wood beams overhead like much of the rest of the home. There was a large window with bench style seat and more. These days, Kim's 
bedroom boasts an all beige theme, giant bed, as well as room for all four of her kids to come and snuggle. The room flows right into the massive master bathroom, which is a full view of the greenery in the yard, almost looking like a tropical jungle. Before, Kim's master bath had those typical luxury features like glistening marble floors and an opulent chandelier, but that's all gone now. It was treated in for a room that boasts a whole ceiling as a light box. Not to mention the walls are all glass, looking out to a forest of green outside. The tub was custom designed and it's massive, while the other end of the sprawling space boasts a glass-walled shower. The sinks in here are basically famous because they confused everybody who caught a glimpse of them. The sinks have these drains that don't look like drains, but as Kim explained, there's a slit for the water to go in. While you might think Kim's home is completely void of color, think again. Her kids' rooms seem to have colorful walls, or at least a few of them do anyways. One of the other curious rooms in Kim's home is devoted just to a humongous, octopus-like soft sculpture, like a stuffed animal, but huge. Not to mention Kim's children do actually have a toys and a playroom, and she's shown this space off before. Before we wrap this up, let's check out the outside. Back in the day, Kim's yard looked like a typical Beverly Hills home, but it was stunning, including a dining patio, outdoor fireplace, fountains, and epic pool with water features. But you guessed it, in usual Kim and Kanye fashion, they completely removed all of that. They minimized the space with just one massive swimming pool. Since they didn't find a jacuzzi they liked, they decided just to heat the entire pool to a warm temperature. Now that we've taken a look at Kim's main Hidden Hills home and how it looked before and after, that's going to wrap up today's video. But before we go, answer this question for me. Would you like living in a home with a super minimalistic modern vibe like Kim's? Why? or why not? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Karen. If you'd like to check out more of Kim's real estate, then stay tuned for this video where we take a peek at some other homes she's purchased. Bye! Kim Kardashian may still be living in her eccentric and minimalistic mansion in Hidden Hills, but she's still making real estate moves. In recent news, she just dropped $6.3 million on the house right next door to her main abode, which happens to sit in the middle of her current house and the one her ex Kanye West bought across the street in December 2021. Despite the mega price tag, Kim's new acquisition is definitely in need of some renovation, but we're going to take a look for ourselves. Also, I'm going to be dropping a video of Michael and I's new house tour soon, so be sure to keep Keep your eye out for that if you're curious where I live. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Kim Kardashian and her four children have been happily living in the one of a kind mansion she and her ex husband Kanye bought in 2014. After an additional $20 million in seven years spent on renovating the crib into a minimalist dream, it's rumored to be worth at least $60 million. More recently, Kim allowed Vogue inside for a look at her calming compound. Which she's kept mostly the same aesthetic wise after buying ex husband Kanye out of the home for $23 million. Kim said about her residence Everything in my house is really minimal. I find there's so much chaos out in the world that when I come home, I want it to be really quiet and I want everything to feel calming. While Kim has no plans to move on from her 3.5 acre property, it seems with her next door purchase, she's planning to expand her Hidden Hills territory further. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on. On Famous Entertainment, and in this one, we're checking out Kim Kardashian's home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. We'll kick things off with Kim's new purchase, a fixer upper she bought next door to her Hidden Hills estate for $6.3 million. Despite the work that needs to be done to this property, Kim definitely wanted it, or at least the acre of land it sits on, because she shelled out 800k more than the asking price to get it. Looking at aerial views, we can see the home is also between Kim's main house and the random house her ex Kanye bought right across the street. Maybe Kim has some ulterior motives for the property purchase, but either way, she's totally expanding her 
footprint in the Kardashian-loved Hidden Hills neighborhood. Built in 1975, this was the first time the 4,239 square foot abode has come on the market. And it was listed after the longtime owner of the place and beloved resident of the community, Lillian Darling Holt, passed away at the end of 2021 at the age of 84. Well, that might explain some of the dated interiors. Listing materials said about the house, this estate is the perfect place to call home with a remodel or renovation to create a true masterpiece. Currently, the home is made up of four bedrooms and 3.5 baths with outdated interiors boasting green shag carpet in some spaces, velvet curtains and furnishings, and elsewhere, walls made of mirrors and plaster floors. Most likely, the existing structure will be torn down and turned into something more Kardashian style. Other spaces inside boast a curved staircase with second level gallery and formal living and dining rooms, including the room with an entire wall of mirrors. Also in this room, there are micro suede sofas, a white baby grand piano and giraffe statues. A nearby family room boasts a fireplace, wet bar, and sliding glass doors that open to reveal the unmaintained backyard. The master suite is currently located downstairs and comes with a bonus room. On the bright side, the backyard is a great size, boasting over an acre of land, which gives Kim a total of four acres, including her current main residence. It's not clear what Kim has in store for the new purchase, but there are plenty of possibilities. Maybe it's storage for her designer bags and shoes, wellness retreat, guest or staff, house, only time will tell. Unfortunately, there's a community path that runs between her two properties, so it might not be possible to fully merge them. The feature Kim did with Vogue in February 2022 also gives fans a glimpse into her main Hidden Hills residence, which she purchased with Kanye back in 2014. It has been the subject of intriguing criticism since they offered a look at the uniquely revamped interiors in 2018. The former couple collaborated with famous designer and architect Axel Vervoort to create the nearly all-white and minimalistic home, which Kanye once called a futuristic Belgian monastery. And while Kanye may have since moved out, the recent video shows the neutral aesthetic is still very well in place. Since they completely overhauled their 15,667 square foot mega mansion, it became one of the most unique and somewhat odd celeb homes we've ever seen. There are reportedly eight beds, 10 baths, and eight fireplaces throughout. The home is excessively open concept with nearly no doors to be found anywhere. Her dining room is more suitable for entertaining guests, fitted with an entirely cream color scheme that runs across the walls, flooring, and the round table and chairs. In Kim's family kitchen, where there's a sprawling prep island with a cream color scheme that opens up to a living area with a giant curved sectional couch. Kim's master bedroom boasts an all beige themed giant bedroom for all four of her kids to come and cuddle with, but there's also 130 inch TV that comes out from the floor. The room flows right into the massive master bathroom, which has a full view of the greenery in the yard, almost looking like a jungle. This space boasts a whole ceiling used as a light box where the walls are all glass. The tub was custom designed and big enough to fit every one in the family if they wanted to, while the other end of the sprawling space boasts a glass walled shower. Kim's children's rooms are more personable than other spaces in the house as she allows them to have whatever decoration they please rather than sticking with the minimalist and neutral theme. I mean, if you're a kid, that would be pretty boring. Outside the house on 3.5 acres, there were originally two swimming pools, two spas, and their own vineyard. However, Kim and Kanye opted to trade the two pools in and minimize the space with just one massive swimming pool. In a recent video, Kim gave a glimpse at her updated backyard as well. The basketball court is loved by Kim's children and the ground of the court is built in a spongy material while the color scheme is all black like Kim's gym equipment. In fact, you can see her fully equipped gym in the background which is attached to the court. Kim also got her luxury car collection decked out in all gray to match her house. Talk about commitment. She reportedly has plans to add multiple structures including an underground vault, subterranean parking, a detached guard house. So maybe this new purchase will be that attached wellness center. All right, now we've checked out Kim Kardashian's homes, including the new property she snagged right next door to her main residence, as well as an updated look at that main estate she calls home. After checking out her Hidden Hills properties, what did you guys think? Let's not forget, Kim is also making real estate moves elsewhere in California when it was reported earlier this year that she was building a couple of vacation homes. This sketch for Kim's new home in Palm Springs show it's shaped like a triangle with round edges and a hole in the center of it, also with two floors throughout. Meanwhile, she also reportedly has a glass and wood lake house in the works in a secret location. Well, until those are finished and we can take a look, be sure to let me know your thoughts on her current homes down in the comments. 
comments. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram if you wanna chat and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.